Hello, I'm back. Big here of Preferred Currency News, and right now I'm going to discuss to you the daily newsletter. Right. So before anything else, I just want to show say to you, say that I am not a financial advisor, and everything I say here is just my opinion and not a recommendation. Why? So you must do your own research first before deciding for yourself. Okay. So. Let's go to the newsletter. So the main story for today is UK money management app Emma makes crypto push. So millennial focused money management startup Emma Technologies is expanding into crypto. The startup is behind the Emma app for iOS and Android, which is an artificial intelligence fueled tool that until now has only supported financial institutions like HSBC, Bank of Scotland, Barclays, and others, helping users avoid overdraft fees, manage debt, and save money. Okay, so let's proceed. Let's click further. So it will redirect us to ECNDA today. And, uh, a very updated website also so let's wait for it to load okay so here's the main story so you can subscribe to this um, web page to this newsletter at preferredcurrency.news for $15 a month or $180 a year okay so let's wait for the pages to load, so let's open it all first. Okay, so here's the main story, right? So now it's integrating with a handful of leading crypto exchanges to give users the ability to keep track of Bitcoin and Ethereum balances. So while Emma is only starting with the top two cryptocurrencies, they are making a statement by integrating some of the top names in the space, including Binance and Coinbase as well as Kraken, Bitfinex, Bitstamp, and Bitrex. Emma co-founder and CEO Eduardo Moreni told CN CCN Twiss in response to cust customer demand, right? So yes, they were asking for a crypto. Coinbase is more popular than several high street banks within our user, user base. It was pretty evident we needed to do something about this. Okay. So Moreni pointed to exchanges API, exchange APIs, which simplify the integration process. This is important because banks don't act in this way, and we are actually against in some cases, he said. Adding that the company has plans to expand, provide individual addresses for Litecoin and Dogecoin, as well as expanding the list of exchanges. And meanwhile, Moreni told TechCrunch that crypto is the next emerging asset class pointing to a market opportunity of 3 million plus crypto investors in the UK region. According to the Financial Times, nearly three quarters of the UK's population is predicted to manage financial accounts via a mobile device by the next half decade. Emma, Emma is financial product and service agnostic and is looking to become a one-stop shop for managing money. For instance, the new crypto feature is read-only meaning that users can send ETH to another to one another but the same holds true for their traditional banking features the company's plan is reportedly to expand into right features both for fiat and crypto transactions that will also help users to save in crypto based on behavioral rules and risk appetite Emma's Moreni told TechCrunch adding we see this as a huge opportunity and if we are those who help people understand and invest in crypto for the first time it fits with our core mission so that is the main story for today okay so UK money management app Emma makes crypto push okay, so let's proceed to the next story so what China's cashless revolution can teach the West about crypto so Michael J Cassie 
is the chairman of CoinDesk Advisory Board and Senior Advisor for Blockchain Research at MIT's Digital Currency Initiative. Foreign tourists talked of struggling to buy things because they don't have Alipay or WeChat Pay installed on their smartphone. Because merchants no longer bother except the banknotes they get from ADMs. Right, so let's proceed. Here's the picture. Okay. These stores elicit fascination among Americans, but not much more. Here in the US, many can't grasp what the big deal is about digital payments. After all, pulling a credit card from your wallet isn't much more inconvenient than a smartphone out of your pocket and it costs you. If not the merchant, no more than if you used cash. The average American China system seems no different from Venmo or PayPal, just more pervasive, right? So, but, and Adres but as Adresen Horowitz partner Connie Chan told me during a fireside chat at the HITSA conference at Stanford a week ago, the real benefits of China's cashless revolution lie on its on how this new software-based system of value to exchange has become a platform on which new business models can be built. Digitizing payments in this way at very low cost enables micropayments and seamless integration across different service providers, which in turn means merchants can provide a variety of new services to customers over an app. This helps to enhance the user's experience, boost loyalty and engage engagement, and build network value. Okay. To consider how Kugo, the most popular of a number of Chinese music apps, provides song coins to fans based on their level of engagement, which they can exchange into renminbi, the local currency. Okay. So essentially, by removing intermediation costs from payments system, Alibaba affiliate and financials Alipay and Tencent's WeChat Pay together now boasts a million users according to the AI group have created a seamless foundation for a whole new digital economy. Chan says this is where US app developers are being left behind because their products can't integrate with a new model. The relevance in this for Coindesk readers which their best in cryptocurrency and blockchain technology starts with the fact that this Dream of a seamless micropayments enabled system of it hurt to impossible new services is one that often cited by crypto enthusiasts. So does China prove that you don't need a blockchain to build a new internet of value? Powered by device to device exchanges in an internet of things economy? Well, yes and no. Okay, so crypto dream Chinese characteristics. If you want to read this one. Can read this one at pcm.today okay so that's the second main story so the second main story is what china's cashless revolution can teach the west about crypto all right so let's go to the third so russian central bank increasingly positive toward crypto so russian news outlet nabulina reports apathy apathy on the regulation of cryptocurrencies president vladimir putin also confirms that his government is working on a regulatory framework for crypto. Central Bank of the Russian Federation re recently stated that the devastating failure of blockchain projects this year had restored sanity to the sector. During the Phenopolis, Phenopolis Innovative Financial Technology Forum, the Russian banking chief Elvira told the country that the investors' cloud of enthusiasm has begun to wear off. Right. Okay. So we are holding the Finopolis Forum for the fourth time. Earlier, this event used to witness a cryptocurrency fever everywhere, but now it is visibly beginning to disappear. So the fever is dying. The Russian banking chief's words come at a time when cryptocurrency is receiving a slowly growing acceptance in the country. 
Across the globe, crypto assets are gaining a somewhat higher acceptance among the people. Companies such as BTCC are finding new markets. The Russian head of state Putin also expressed his confidence in crypto transactions and further assuring that they would develop a framework for the same. However, he urged users to do so with caution as control of crypto cryptocurrency goes beyond national borders. The structure would see Bitcoin and other crypto assets recognized by the law. So, um, this is the third story. So, the first story is UK Money Management app Emma makes crypto push. The second story is what China's cashless revolution can teach the West about crypto. The third is Russian Central Bank increasingly positive toward crypto. That are the three main stories, and you might be wondering why. Um, you need to subscribe for $15 a month or $180 when you can read it at PCN today. Um, you can read it, um, you, you will be notified first before they publish it at PCN today, 12 hours prior, right? So, and also in the newsletter, there are also a lot of tips, right? As you can see, on how to earn crypto and to boost your daily earnings, as you write this one. Here is a great website where you can get alerts about your EOS transactions. So this one will help you monitor your EOS transactions. So it will email you on your EOS. Um, if there's um something fishy about your in your EOS um account, okay. So this one you can see, right? So there's also a lot of links here that will help you earn crypto through buy and sell like this one so this one will help you um, earn crypto through buy and sell using EOS so this is eosmarketplace.news and you can you and anyone else can post any items real estate or vacation rentals for sale or for rent exchange for EOS and EOS compatible tokens no legal items or services allowed as you can see there's a lot of items already listed here and you can freely add your your item if you have something that is for sale here and people will contact you if they're interested on your item okay so let's proceed so also this one marketplace.pcn.today so this one this um, website is also like this marketplace.news where you can um, um, post your items, okay, and you can earn crypto through selling there, right? So let's proceed. Okay. So also found here is um, a tip on how you can claim an, an airdrop from my wish. The tips, the steps are here also, and also. Um, their publisher, Don the Guru, will help you transfer your EOS if you have not yet transferred yet your EOS, right? So you need to have your EOS in an actual wallet where you can control private key in order to get the latest news. Newest P airdrops coming soon. The newer airdrops will not be based on the original Genesis snapshot. But the EOS mobile wallet is currently EOS links. Easiest, rather. Right, so his contact number is here and his WhatsApp also. And also found here are Donald the Guru's top coins. You can view it here at his spreadsheet. Alright, so let, let's open the spreadsheet. You can see. So the blue ones, the colored blue ones, are the coins that you must look into. Alright, so this one, like this one, Bitcoin. Of course, that's our favorite. Right? So it's all here in the newsletter. So all the guru's top coins for today are Bitwitem, Chainium, Tactum, Qtum, Social Send, Bitcoin, EOS, Teller, Tron, and ZRX. And also found here are the high volume change tokens, which are Nancoin, Zercoin, Staker, Elysium, Anycoin, Cloud, Cubicoin. XGOX, Supercoin, and, and Incent. 
So the interesting technical price action coins and tokens are Atonia, them, Nexus, Qtum, Ardor, Augur, Bankrupt, Bitcoin, Private, Block, Lancer, and Blocknet. So the high weekly trade volume tokens or, data, or coins are Data, VeChain, Lala World, Pura, Podiex, Pareto Network, Decred, Zencash, Colossus Coin, XT, and Peer Coin. And also the high Google search activity tokens or coins are Noah Coin, Kin, OST, or Previously called Simple Token, Moneta, Tron, Nano, Funfair, Clearpool, Ignis, and Golem. So, if you want also to become an affiliate at birdcurrency.news, you can visit the website and affiliate there. Or, once you're already a, uh, a subscriber, just click this picture here at the newsletter. So, also found here are the top coins or its top popular exchanges which are Binance, Bbox, Crypto, Crypto, and CoinExchange. Um, it is very easy because you can just click it there, right? So that are the that is the newsletter today, right? So I think that's it. And please don't forget. To subscribe at birdcurrency.news for fifteen dollars a month and or one hundred eighty dollars a year. Okay, so please don't forget to press the like button and subs and subscribe. So goodbye. Thank you.